What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, I'm back to another video, and today, news come out, the Miami Dolphins are fielding trade inquiry, inquiries about Bruh. quarterback Josh Rosen. I first seen uh, Adam Scheffler tweet this out, so you know it's legit, you know what I'm saying? It's Adam Scheffler, you know what I'm saying? He don't really lie. So, the Dolphins are fielding trades for Josh Rosen. Now, I just want to go ahead and go and say that Josh Rosen's value is probably like, like, the, like uh, rock bottom, okay? We're not going to get nothing that great for Josh Rosen. That's just the facts of the matter. We're gonna, we might get a fifth round. Fourth. If we get a fourth round to pick, it would be a miracle. If we get a fifth round pick, it might be a miracle. I don't know what we're going to like. What are we going to get for Josh Rosen? I think his value is at a at, at rock bottom right now. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, and I just don't see us getting anything for him. But I see I, I, we might trade him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wouldn't doubt we trade him. Even if, if not at the beginning of the season. Even if not before the season. During the season sometime. But like I said, his value is at rock bottom right now. So to trade him right now would just be like terrible. He don't even have we don't even have a preseason for him to like get his value up. He's just he, he, it's just bad, right? He, he's just rock bottom. So apparently he he must have lost the quarterback competition. He must be the third quarterback or something. I don't know. But he's about to get traded. Now I'll, I'll just say this: we haven't announced who's going to be the starter week one. I'm assuming it's going to be Ryan Fitzpatrick. I'm almost certain. But um, the thing about Josh Rosen, this is Josh Rosen's video, this is about Josh Rosen. The thing about him, guys, is I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. And I will die on this hill gladly. Josh Rosen has had the most unfortunate circumstances since he started his career. All right? Now, it's about to sound like I'm making a lot of excuses for Josh Rosen. And you can just say that, and I'm kind of am. But when I tell you, Josh Rosen, I cannot think of a quarterback Set aside injuries, right? Because there's been young quarterbacks that got injured and ruined their career. I cannot think of a quarterback who has stayed healthy and who has been just just had the most uncontrollable, unfortunate stuff happen to them as Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen has had the most unfortunate of circumstances since he entered the league, okay? Say I made excuses if you want to, but I have facts, okay? And I've already, you know, made a whole video on this, but I will just recap just in case y'all forgot. Josh Rosen had how many quarterback uh, offensive coordinators at UCLA? I, I lost count. It was two or three. He goes to the NFL, has his first year as, as an NFL starter, has two or three offensive coordinators. Uh, well, I think it was two. And one of them was Byron Left, which was, which was his first year as an offensive coordinator. Then he turns around and goes to the Dolphins with Chad O'Shea as his offensive coordinator, who, who, who we thought was a pretty good offensive coordinator, but who literally got relieved of his duties because his playbook was too complex for even the veterans to understand. This is facts. This is not made up anything. I just said it's made up. Josh Rosen, I've lost count. It's the five or six offensive coordinators in the last, what, two, three years? Since he's entered the league, even before he entered the league? He has not. I don't know if he's... Like, when, when has Josh Rosen ever had two years of the same offensive coordinator since the college? I don't... I, I, he, it just has never happened, okay? That's just one of the things that I have to say about Rosen not getting a fair chance. The other thing I have to say about Rosen not getting a fair chance is he's been behind the worst offensive line since he got in the league. When he was with the Cardinals, they were ranked 32nd out of 32 teams. No, guys, I understand. There's quarterbacks that do good behind bad offensive lines. That's true. Rosen was not behind a bad offensive line. There's a difference between being a bad offensive line and the worst offensive line in the league. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, you're, if your offensive line is ranked 24th, you have a pretty bad offensive line. But this is the worst, okay? The, like, Tannehill had bad offensive lines. Tannehill never had the worst offensive line in the whole league. That's how bad Rosen's offensive line was. When he got into the games, of Miami games, last year, we were ranked 32nd in offensive line. I just thought offensive line settled down. People like to say, well, last year, Fitz looked good behind the same offensive line. Did y'all forget first, Fitz's first two games? And then Rosen only got two games after that. I think, what, he got two or three games? And then after that, Fitz was right back in the game. By that time, when Fitz got back in midseason, the offensive line has settled down a little bit. And also, Fitz has played behind more bad offensive lines than I could count. Obviously, he's going to be more poised in that situation than Rosen, okay? Fitz has played in a million offenses behind a million offensive lines. I would hope he plays better. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm going to get off that soapbox right now because I've already made a whole video on that. But the point of the matter I'm trying to make is, listen, I'm not going to plead for us to keep Rosen. This is not going to happen, all right? I don't love Rosen that much. 
it is what it is. We got Tua. If, if we didn't have Tua, then yes, we would have to keep Rosen. But we got Tua. We got a quarterback of the future. Rosen really don't have a spot. Um. Oh, and I also forgot to mention. Yeah, they just ha the Cardinals happened to fire their coach the first year, and then get Cliff Kingsbury, who loved Kyler Murray so much that he was willing to trade the first round draft pick Josh Rosen to the Dolphins. All right, that, that's another that's another unfortunate circumstance to have in his career. What's the chances of of, 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 of of your team signing a coach who absolutely just loved Kyler Murray to the point where they would trade you and you are a top 10 pick? Not even give you a chance, just trade you right away. Um, Rosen wasn't top 10, right? He was top 10 or 12. I don't be forgetting. I think he was exactly the 10th pick, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, just unfortunate. And then you go to a team where we've been saying we've been taking for Tua since like damn a year and a half ago. So you go to this team and you know this team wants Tua. You know, it's just... I mean, just unfortunate circumstances. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm not going to plead that Rosen gets another chance. I'm not going to plead that he gets in the game this season because it's not that serious to me. I want to see two over seeing Rosen. And it is what it is. But I will say this, and I will die on this hill, he never got a fair chance. He never got a fair chance. Now, a lot of people say, oh, well, he played 13. He played all these games. Uh, he got enough opportunities. He looked bad when he was in the game. Yes, he was behind the worst offensive line in football, behind his 14th different offensive coordinator. Yes, he probably looked Bruh. bad. Yes, uh, yes. If, that, if you call that him getting a fair chance just because he got in the game, then that's on you. All right? That's on you. I I, I respect it because this is the thing. I'm not saying Rosen is a GOAT. I'm not saying he's even good. I'm just saying he never, ever, ever, in my humble opinion, got a fair shot. Do with that information as you will. Uh, I'll actually will be following Rosen wherever he goes. I, I want to see, like, if we do end up trading him soon, I want to see him actually play in a decent situation. He hasn't even played in a decent situation his entire career. And it's business college. He hasn't even played in a decent situation. That's just what it is, you know? Maybe he is a bum, but like I say, he never had a point to prove. He, he never had a chance to really prove that he was that good. And if it was any other quarterback, y'all would agree. Like, I know Tannehill fans gotta feel me on this. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know who Tannehill fans and who not in my comments. But y'all got to feel me on this because y'all was the ones making all them excuses for Tannehill's offensive line. So y'all got to feel me because Josh Rosen has had even a worse offensive line his whole career than Tannehill ever had. So y'all got to feel me on that if you're a Tannehill fan. But uh, other than that, like I said, I'm not going to plead for him to ever get any playtime with us. It is what it is. Uh, like I said, he doesn't have any preseason to prove himself. He has to prove himself in practice. Obviously, he didn't because if he did, we would not be fielding trades for him. Josh Rosen had to know this was coming. Obviously, the, the writing was on the wall. As soon as we drive to us, like, what, where's Rosen's spot on the team? It's really nowhere. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to keep two young quarterbacks. Like, it just, it just does, it never made, the writing was on the wall. It never made sense. You know, it just never made sense. I mean, his value is at a rock bottom. I don't see us getting a high pick for him if he does get traded. But football season starts in about a week, a week and a half. I know y'all excited getting a conversation with you guys. Think about this. Josh Rosen News. It's your boy Guy Flexing. I'm out.